So people are on the internet telling um, Sweetly Season's owner that she needs to give um, the barber and the barber's sister their money. Now, guys, this is a Keith Lee effect that went worse than it did in Atlanta. Let's talk about this. Keith Lee is officially in Dallas. So I asked him for help and come to visit my mom's food truck to hopefully turn it around. She is an award-winning pastry chef. She is a culinary chef. She has two degrees. We are just from Milwaukee and here in Dallas, it's kind of hard with the marketing because we don't know our way even around yet. Well, we here. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. He spent $80.11. We are in North Dallas, Texas. We in a hood. I'm not gonna say it no other way. We in a hood. They outside cutting hair, doing braids, waiting on us they both on live at the same time him and his sister but they outside ready so we had to be double o this whole time i'm talking about double o seven agents it's a party out here like i'm doing braids waiting on us they both on live at the same time him and his sister but they outside ready so we had to be double o this whole time i'm talking about double o seven agents it's a party out here like I okay i think we all know what that means but ah, why does he do the close-ups that <laughs> Let's go on. Some service, my family said it was pretty good. And it was alive the whole time, so we can kind of see it. Only thing is, the only person cooking is the mama. So if you do come, please be patient. It's only one person there to cooking. But it's a lot of people, so she got the option to have a lot of hands. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and ready with the 10. A pulled pork sandwich, fried ribs with french fries, jerk chicken tacos with beans and rice, and two orders of banana pudding. Is this $80 worth of food? In my opinion, no. But considering the fact that it's been slow and she has an overhead, the fact that this is a food truck and everything is made to order, I understand. We sit in the car. This Dallas weather is bipolar. It was freezing cold when we got here. It's hot right now. Can Sound just like Georgia weather. It'd be freezing cold at night, freezing cold in the morning, and hot during the day. We know less than 80 some degrees. We're gonna start with the pulled pork sandwich. It's loaded. Only thing when you load the sandwich as much is the bottom bun does get soggy. This bottom bun already soggy. My hands squeeze. It's just really good seasoned pulled pork with pickles and barbecue sauce. I wish the bun was a little more high quality. You can tell these just regular buns. Like a sweet bun on this, we'll take this over the top. But as it is, I'm not mad at that. It's nothing crazy. 7.8 out of 10. That's pretty high for fresh. a sandwich to come out. It's real fresh. These are deep fried ribs. And when they say deep fried, boy, <laughs> I can see, but they also put sauce on it. But you can see by the sauce, this is chicken. Okay, that's a little too much sauce for me. Maybe put some on the side so I can distribute it as I please. Chicken fried. Hey, you can see it better on this one. That's a chicken fried rib. I kind of wipe some of the sauce off. The sauce is good, but I don't think it's a homemade sauce. But this rib itself don't even need the sauce, to be honest with you. Uh-huh. I don't know where she got these ribs from. Look how much meat is on that rib. In my opinion, I would take a lot of the sauce off because they don't need it. The rib by itself is very flavorful. It's crispy. It's meaty. The ribs with the sauce as is, I'm going to go with 7 out of 10. But I feel like if she take this sauce off, this can be an 8.5. Or even put the sauce on the side. Where you put the sauce it. on the show, uh, put the sauce on the side. It's too seasoned. It don't need no rib. It don't need no sauce. All that. I don't like the color of that sauce. It looks like a bloody massacre. Mm-mm. Couldn't eat it. Crust? Man, you better let that crust be for itself. You can make a beautiful crust like that and then cover it with sauce. Just how it looks. I feel like this is about to be the highlight. These are jerk tacos. There's some jalapenos. There's some pico de gallo. It looks like some onions, cheese. Mm -hmm. I did. That sauce might be homemade. That sauce is good. It's just a chicken taco. It's a great chicken taco, though. It's seasoned. That sauce is spicy. 8.7 out of 10. Turn the rice by my hand. This rice. Them the beans. <laughs> what you give it? 8.7. I'm going nine. Last but not least, the banana pudding. Now, I'm very picky on sweets. I've said it. I've always said it. Again, take my opinion on sweets with a grain of salt. It's cool. It's not the greatest banana pudding I've ever had, but it's better than most banana puddings I've had before. Not too sweet. Mm -mm. This is one thing y'all gotta stop doing is playing around with banana pudding. If you not bad at it, then don't do it. It's disrespectful. Take it back. It is a little sweet. I wouldn't eat this whole thing, but for me, as somebody who's not really a sweets person, I get a solid 7.3 out of 10. But I like sweet. I go 8.6. One of the main things I will say, in my opinion, 
the marketing does need a lot of help. There's no me you on the brother's page, on the sister page, or the mom's page. I feel like a menu with prices should definitely be top priority. That and a website change, in my opinion. I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises, it might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together and we left a $4,000 tip. So here's where the drama comes in, that $4,000 tip. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, God, it's amazing. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber, so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you a thousand dollars because we took the hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's it. Right, so you start my barber for four thousand dollars, and y'all, y'all get the hair, y'all get the hair. Alright, got it, amazing. So let's go over this again. I see y'all getting hair. As you can see, this is the caption. Now this is Keith Lee. This video. Now he said he wanted to leave a thousand dollars to the barber. He wanted to leave the girl a thousand dollars for doing the braids. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's what he said. And after this, I pray and I hope you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. So the sister of that barber is not happy and she is saying that um, the woman, the owner of that food truck has not given her brother his money and that she came to help her at the food truck at the time and she was supposed to get a thousand dollars and her brother was supposed to get a thousand dollars and the woman didn't give them the money. Yeah go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you you get what i'm saying so my friend had me come and help you and then my brother was really only out there but you somehow trying to make it seem like my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his pr prices on them come on so then i wake up today people hit me up talking about we want to make your menus we want to make your flyers da -da 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 -da. my main thing was i'm not the face of this company you get what i'm saying i'm not the face of this company but i can put you in contact if you go through my comment section you will definitely see why I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my shit. So I hit her this morning was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today, and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram, and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home, and I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. Granted, all I had to do was send it to her or she could have sent it to him, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. See, when I first heard this, I knew something was up because what type of agreement needs to be made here? He told you to get a man a thousand dollars. All you need to know is how to give it to him. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a thousand dollars to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, because she's a food truck, so she's in different locations. So the location don't belong to her. But we all know they advocated for Keith Lee to come out. So they all came out to join in. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. It seemed like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. That's crazy. I mean, I already know what type of person this chick is. She don't need Keith Lee to tell her nothing. He already told her to give him the money. So she is just tripping. And just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. This situation is so bad that they are telling lies in order to gain attention and followers. Notice that all of their videos mentioning Keith Lee, whether positive or negative, are the only ones on their page that are over 100,000 views. Check out mine. That's not the case. I do not have to use Keith Lee to exploit for views. I would never do that to him. The fact that somebody I call my friend is doing that is making me sick to my stomach and that's why I was not trying to make a video to address it. Like I told Sherelle, let's handle it privately. However y'all want to do it, we can email Keith Lee, we can talk to him, we can figure it out. But this internet stuff ain't no point for that. That's just for views and money and clicks. Like, we don't need to do that. The issue was, listen to the words that Keith Lee said in this video. I see y'all getting out here, doing brains. So we want to give a $1,000 to the market. Everybody speak English, right? 
So apparently this is Sweetly Season's son, and this is just turned into a whole bunch of drama. And I just fail to understand why. I This is really sad. You came to help a struggling business owner, but you found a way to build controversy around it for your page. So you get clicks, views, and money. She literally said, right hand to God. If I don't, this is the part that made me mad. They came to the food truck at closing. I was like, it was basically going to be like some type of pew pew session between him and my brother because he was threatening my mom, her brother, talking about he was going to do whatever to my mom. So I'm like, okay, my brother was there sitting in the car just waiting. Like, what you want to do? My just the next day after he had got the haircut. So I'm like, uh uh, we're not doing all this. I'm like, I don't see what's the point. The, her brother's like, I need, need my money now. I'm like, how are we gonna give you the money now if nobody has it, bro? Like I told y'all, I went to the truck, I asked my mom, nobody had the money. The payment just cleared today. Okay, so if it cleared, that means you got the money. Like, why is it that this woman don't wanna give this man his money? A thousand dollars? Just cleared today. He paid with a square. When do square pay the next day, y'all? When do Square pay? He paid at 5 p.m. after 5 p.m. He paid like 5.30 p.m. You don't get those payments at midnight? Like, and I didn't have the thousand dollars. Well, I didn't have a thousand dollars in the bank, but I didn't have it to go and just give. You know what I'm saying? The bank was closed. I can't get your brother the thousand dollars. I said I would give your brother the thousand dollars just off GP, just so that you wouldn't put this stuff on the internet and try to lie and get clout off of it. What you said you were going to do as my freaking friend. You gonna sit there and lie like no, I'm not gonna put it on the internet because I'm not I'm just not gonna do that. That's not that's not the mission. Bro, can you calm down? Like, I can't believe y'all really acting like this over a thousand dollars. I don't care if it was fifty. I'm like, you literally put drama around Keith Lee's name when it doesn't have to be. Like, you're really acting like, she act like my mom was just like, oh, this all my money. I'm not paying none of y'all. Y'all not getting none. No. No. Y'all not getting none. But isn't that literally what she did, though? I mean, I know I'm not misunderstanding what's going on. <laughs> Never. How many times did my mom say she was sending out money? Y'all don't want to hear that part, though. If that woman wanted to give him that money, he, they would have had it. And this wouldn't even be happening. So since we acting like the mama didn't want to send the money, let's listen to her responses to the situation while she still ain't sent it. He wasn't with me. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principal. Yes, it's principalities in this smoking. <laughs> How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. I mean, let's be real, y'all. I think we all can say that um, we can probably assume that she needed the money, but that still does not give her any leeway to do what she has done. Like, And I don't know if this is going to make me or break me. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is the one that told me to go to school and go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me after him knowing the truth now, See, it's really difficult trying to understand someone who has a mind like this, but why do you need Keith Lee to come and tell you you're wrong? If that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. But he already told you to do that, sis. Like, what's the problem? Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and and just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts. He should have said, "Anybody, come on, 
who want their hair cut for free. Come on. Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made. I just, who is, who does she think she is to say that? Because he didn't word it in a way that she would have approved of in order for the barber to qualify. Okay, I just can't. Him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. Me, me, me. Okay, I think we got it. It's me. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom, and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together, and we left a four thousand dollar tip behind. God is amazing. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. Right then and there, she was misleading. She wanted to agree that they was working together. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber, so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to get that hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Yeah, I did that. So we can charge my barber four thousand dollars, and y'all, y'all can be hired. Y'all can be hired. Okay, my cerebral programming has computed that he said he's given a thousand dollars to the barber, a thousand dollars to the girl for doing the hair braiding, and a two thousand dollar tip to the uh, shop owner. When he said you give it to each other how you feel necessary, I'm pretty sure that he meant the method of distribution, not the amount. He already stated the amount a thousand to the barber a thousand to the girl two thousand to the shop owner so here she is after the fact and she's talking herself into a bigger hole oh the free food i that's a lie that's a lie i gave i i supposed to close at five o'clock but keith lee came right before that so I set out to nine o'clock giving out free food to everybody. That is a lie. That is a lie. And then for uh for when Keith Lee D came, I don't understand why that girl jumped in the pictures when she is not a part of us. What kind of statement is that to make about somebody who came out there to help support your business? And help you serve and cook food. Ugh. She should not have been in any of the pictures. She didn't even belong there. She shouldn't have been in any of the pictures. Man. Ugh. Oh, honey. I don't. Baby. Baby. Tears. I ain't trying to cry for a pity. I serve a God. I serve a God. And I, I'm going to. I think. So clearly she's having some Wi-Fi issues. I'm just letting this rock because somebody on TikTok said your Wi-Fi don't even agree with you or your Wi-Fi even know how messed up you are. Something like that. I mean, it, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to end this and I, I hope to see you guys. I well, let's see if she sees anyone. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Well, I am today. I am located on ninety-seven seventy-nine Forest Lane. Uh, I'm out here right now serving breakfast. I've been out here since eight o'clock. Um, I had customers pretty much waiting on me when I got here. Now, if you would have pulled up and showed us the video of the customers waiting on you when you got there, the Keith Lee effect, um, we would believe you, but we don't. <laughs> um, truly a blessing. Okay, people, uh, lunch will start at 1030. I'm hoping to see you guys uh, to support Sweetie Season. 
Uh, it is such a beautiful day already, and it hasn't even warmed up quite yet. So, it's not a bad day to come out and get you something very, very good to eat. And don't forget, I also have treats. I have banana puddings and I have cheesecakes. All right. Deuces. It was like three hours and no one came. So my question is, and do you think I should have stayed? And if you think so, why? Because gas was steady burning. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I won't keep Lee to tell me. After him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. Well, I'm going to let her continue, but um, according to reports in <laughs> Google, um, her business is permanently closed or listed as permanently closed. And her IG is not there anymore. Her TikTok doesn't have much, but she did post on her TikTok to follow her for the story, the full story, the update or something like that on yesterday. So I think she's hoping to like get a big following out of this. I don't know. But I think this woman realized the next morning when she went in there, she was like, oh, the customers was waiting for me. They were lined up outside the door that she made a mistake. And, you know, sometimes people just start to learn things late in life. That's just what I think is happening in this case, you know? If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and, and just let y'all know she's a scammer. I really don't think that people should try and get Keith Lee to respond out of this. And I think that, you know, the brother and sister should just chop it up. She, you know, um, he's had enough drama with the Atlanta situation and the uh, other place he went to. Man, just let her rock. Yes, give and you will receive. That is true. He already told me to. He told me. Yeah, he did. He said. He, listen closely, go to the video, go to the video and listen closely to what he says. He says, ma'am, I promise you it's very important for you to put that phone down and get you some tissue and clean your nose and wash your hands. Give that barber the, uh, uh, a thousand dollars for free haircuts. There was no free haircuts. My son paid him. There was no free haircuts. He wasn't even there for that. He was never there for that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? He was never there. I think that one thing Keith Lee probably will learn from all of this is uh, in the future, you have really no idea what's going on and who's who and what's what. So if you're going to give money to someone, give it to them instead of giving it to someone else and expecting them to um, actually give it to the other person.